Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can evolve your Char Cadet into either Serra Ledge or Armor Rouge. But more importantly than that, I'm going to show you how you can get both of these in the same game with your original trainer code. Let's get into it. As a bit of proof here, you can see I'm playing Scarlet because I'm on Coridon and here's my Serra Ledge here. And we can see I've got my Serra Ledge with my OT saying Metal, that's me. And then I have my, of course, my armor rouge, which has also got my OT of metal as well. Now, to start off with, we've got to get Char Cadet most places around the map. And we can see that he's very rarely seen, though. It's actually about a 1% to 2% spawn. But I found a place that looks like it's a static spawn, because I found several here. If we go just where I've marked the map there, just to the east gate of Mesagoza. So we're going to run across over to where I marked, and I'm using the flag to guide me. Um, and I've seen quite a few over here on different days, so I think it is a static spawn. But there we go. There I've got my Char Cadet. Now, if you are on Pokemon Violet, you need to get 10 Sinistee chips. And you can do that by killing Sinistees. And the best place to find them is here in the Afrenada area. And you'll see that they're quite common. If you are on Pokemon Scarlet like me, then you need to get your Bronze or Fragments. And that is found over here, over to the north of the desert. So I'm going to go to Cascara for north. And then I'm going to pretty much hug the right-hand side of the wall near the desert. It was a bit hot though, so I'm going to go for a bit of a swim. But we're going to fly across. We're going to run very quickly over here, almost past that big pillar over to the right hand side we can cut through over the middle there a little bit of a laneway and then we're going to come across the ruins and the ruins there's going to be a few spawns but the main one we're looking for are bronzors so now you can encounter them you can use the let's go method whatever it is kill a bunch of them and you're going to get your bronzor fragments each time and you'll actually notice that very rarely but sometimes you'll be able to get two bronzor fragments at the same time now to make sure we have enough if you go over to your tm materials scroll down to bronzor fragment you can see that i've got 10 that is how much i need so now what I need to do is I need to go over to Zapapico and we're going to look for the NPC over here that we can trade with. So I'm going to fly over to the west side of Zapapico. I'm going to go over towards this fountain here and there's an NPC that's looking to trade. Once I talk to them, it says that they want to trade. They're going to give me my auspicious armor because I'm in Scarlet and if you've got your Sinistee items, then you will get suspicious armor for your Sarah Ledge. Now all I have to do is give that item to my Char Cadet and now it's going to evolve. Obviously we've got our Armor Rouge here and our Sarah Ledge at the same time. Now, as I said earlier, that you can get both of these in the same game with the same OT. The way that you can do that is that NPC will continue to trade with you so long as you keep getting the Sinistee or the Bronze or items. So I could do that exact same thing again, and I can get another Auspicious Armor. Then I can trade it to someone who's got Violet. And to trade an item, what you need to do is just give that to a random Lechonk or a random Pokemon, trade it over, and then that person will get the Lechonk and the Auspicious Armor, take it off the Lechonk, and then give it to the Char Cadet, and then they can have their own Sarah Ledger Armor Rouge, whatever it is, with the OT as well. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, make sure you subscribe and check out all my other Scarlet and Violet guides as well. Thanks, I'll see you in the next one.